All right, everybody. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. All right. We have Adair, Chris, and Tina in the house. All right, you guys, let's go to the chat or let's go into your app and let's go ahead and take a look at what we are doing. So we're going to get started with one minute of cardio. All right. So let's start thinking about that. What are we going to do? And then we're going to move right into a four minute segment of 10 alternating groiners, right? So we're going to do that for 10 of them, five on the left, five on the right. We'll go 10 air squats, and then we're going to do 10 alternating reverse lunges, which simply means we're just going to go side to side, you guys. We're not going to focus on one leg. So just, just as a little quick reminder, you guys, in the push-up position, right, as we step up, the foot's going to be flat. This is for the groiner. And then you want to drop your back knee, okay? So as we do this, step up and then drop that back knee, and then we'll go ahead and alternate okay so just want to throw that one out there it's uh it's a it's a familiar movement that we've done before um however i just want to make sure that we're all on the same page that seems to be missed is that back knee dropping and it's getting the deepness of the groin uh more mobile so all right you guys give me a thumbs up if we're ready to rock and roll party all night long every day here we go three two one begin okay so here we are we have one minute of cardio, so uh, many options what we can do. We can run in place. We can jog in our living room if we have that flexibility. We can do jumping jacks, step-ups, rowing, electrical machine, whatever you want. But we are simply getting that heart rate up. Okay. I'm going to set it up where... Uh, I can send like a morning text every morning to everybody. It's like, hey, rise and shine, everybody. So that, you know, if anybody's on the, on the fence of showing up, they're like, well, shoot, I got to get up. So thinking outside right now. All right, you guys, we got about five seconds. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. And let's rotate. Okay, so let's take it to the floor. We're doing 10 groiners, five on the left, five on the right. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go right into 10 air squats and then 10 reverse lunges. Again, five on the left, five on the right. And so as we are moving, as we're getting ourselves warmed up, think about you're kind of like one, we're getting the heart rate up and getting the blood pumping but we're also stretching in some areas and some of the movement. So just take your time. Like we're not in a hurry to rush through it all. <clears throat> okay. Scott, I don't get it um, about 10. I mean, mainly I just usually do this for 90 seconds. So yeah, what it's just the active. It, yeah, it's the active piece of it. So, you know, you can just drop that back and you hang out there for a little bit, but it's the active part of moving. That's the that's why we got the numbers involved in it. So I mean, again, what you could do, you could definitely hang out there for like 30 seconds on each side. You know, if we were to kind of call an audible. Chris, you get your, uh, you get your, your goods in the mail yet? Yeah, dude, way to go. All right. Okay. So next is 10 air squats. And then 10 reverse lunges. <clears throat> yeah, I was, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was telling, uh, well, I've actually told a couple of you guys. I haven't, just haven't told it there yet. But um, with the amino acids, if any of you guys are interested in that or learning about that, let me know. Um, Cause I have a, set it up where I can actually get it all shipped out to you guys with a readily speedy process. But especially, this will, this will be my soapbox talk today about the amino acids and, and female athletes, is getting the adequate amount of protein each day is super, super important for you, um, for strength, for bones, um, for coordination, balance. But uh, for all the work that you guys do, we wanna be able to supply our body with recovery. And that's what it is when we have amino acids in our body. So the muscles that are ripped and torn, they're like micro tears. 
that the amino acids help heal them faster for your next training day. I still owe you my homework. I know. I know, Chris. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna I, give... spent, I spent Sunday working on a client thing instead, so. That's okay. Hey, that's it's okay. Coming. Okay, okay. All right, you guys, one more minute. All right. All right, you guys, 15 seconds. <clears throat> good work, good work. All right, five seconds, everybody, in three, two, one. Get those yawns out and rest. <laughs> you know what's funny is at the end of the day when I do my coaching, people come in yawning also. It's, it's like tired in the morning, tired at night, but sometimes it's just like that whole release of oxygen thing, right? Um, all right, well, hey, let's go back into the chat or the app real quick, you guys. We have five minutes, so I want you to think about this. Think of this as an extended warm up. okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do 10 diamond push-ups. We'll go over all of this now. We can do regular push-ups also, so they don't have to be diamond. I want them to be challenging, but I want you to get the benefit out of it also, right? I want you to be able to do the full movement. Um, we're gonna do 20 dead bugs, and then we're gonna do 30 mountain climbers. So let's go over the diamond push-ups. So just if you were the floor, everybody, this is essentially what my hands are gonna be doing. And I'm gonna be coming right to like my, my breastbone, right? So that's kind of what it's gonna look like on the floor, and it's kind of a, it is a kind of a, it's a hard position to get in and out of. However, if we need to adjust it all, we'll just go a little bit wider. So we still keep them narrow. Okay. So let's do this, everybody. Let's get on the floor and you can start off with the diamond on the floor. And then let's all start with this on our knees. So now we're going to go all the way down. Our heart is going to touch the, the diamond on the floor. And then we're going to push away from the floor. Now you can be on your toes or your knees. Now, if that's a little bit weird and it puts you in a weird position, you guys, go a little bit wider. So get like three of those, one to three of those, just to kind of get out of the way. And obviously we can definitely unmute your guys self if you guys have any questions on the, the way to kind of get yourself set up. But again, let's start with it on your knees and then go to your toes from there. And then from there, go a little bit wider with the grip if that narrow of the diamond is too narrow. So let's go ahead and get a couple of these off. So let's get in that uh, dead bug position. So yeah, I'm on my back, my knees are bent, right? Give myself a little bit of a crunch and that's gonna push that lower back against the deck. And then we're gonna alternate side to side. My left leg and my right leg are gonna go out. I'm sorry, my left leg and my right arm are gonna go out. We'll come back and then we'll go ahead and repeat. And then from there, you guys, we'll go right into our mountain climbers in that push-up position. And I'm gonna pull my left knee up to my right, to my left forearm, and then my right leg up to my right forearm. And then we're just gonna alternate. All right, so you don't have to bring that foot flat. Sometimes people bring that left foot up and they bring it flat. You don't have to do it. It allows you to kind of move faster throughout this movement, so. All right, how does that sound for everybody? Is that helpful? Okay, so we're gonna work for five minutes, okay? We'll go ahead and do those 10 diamond push-ups or 10 push-ups, 20 dead bugs, and then 30 mountain climbers, which is simply gonna be with the dead bugs, you know, all 10 on the left, 10 on the right, and then mountain climbers, 15 on the left, 15 on the right. All right, you guys, well, let's get started. We've got five minutes, yep. All right, here we go. Three, two, one 
and begin. All right, you guys, let's get this party started. 10 diamond push-ups, 20 dead bugs, and then 30 mountain climbers. And then I'm gonna be right back, you guys. Gonna go grab All right, you guys, we are two minutes in. Again, if you guys need to shake out those arms a little bit from those push-ups, break up those reps. If we're not doing 10 in a row, by all means, let's do that. And the dead bug, I think, is going to be the, the movement of this piece that's going to take the longest. And Tina, I'm so close to almost done with that calendar. So just, <laughs> I, got, I got your text. All right, once we're done with those dead bugs, you guys will flip it on over. We'll get right into those mountain climbers. All right, you guys, we got one more minute. Okay, one more minute to get herself through. There we go. Yep, they're nice and smooth. There, that's a nice dead bugging. Okay, 20 seconds. <clears throat> All right, 
Here we go, guys. Let's finish up that last movement wherever you are at. If you're on those push-ups, let's finish up those 10 push-ups. If you're on those dead bugs, finish it up. Grab some water or some coffee, and let's come right back to that screen, and we can then talk about what is next. Good work. You know your constituency too well. I try and hide my coffee off screen. <laughs> Adair pulls it right, pulls it out. You can't see it, and then you can. Good work, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out again. What are we doing next? We're gonna do our full body sweat workouts. Um, just as a reminder, everybody, Wednesday is our body weight theme. Sometimes I'll throw a dumbbell in here and there, but majority of the day is gonna be a body weight theme. So if you guys are ever on vacation or away from the house or whatever, you can always go to Wednesday or Sunday's workouts. And those are the body weight workouts that, I, that I'll put out. So anyways, just something that's really easy to do for a quick workout. All right, so we're gonna go into our next piece and it's gonna be for seven sets. I'm gonna be doing one minute per movement. And the first piece is gonna be cardio. The second is going to be burpees. The third one's gonna be air squats. And then the fourth one's gonna be rest. So Dan doesn't like to hear the word rest if it's not real, but this is real right now. It's real life. Okay, so let's go over it really quick. Um, when it comes to the burpee, there's another alternative and it's the up-down, right? So let's say there's a reason, for some reason we cannot do the full burpee, the up-down is gonna be the option. But just as, we're, as a reminder, we're gonna reach for the deck, step out or jump out into that high plank push-up position. We'll go all the way down to the ground. We'll go all the way up. And then we're gonna step up or jump up. Make sure we're on those heels. And then we'll give a little bit of a clap, okay? Now from here, you guys, the squat's gonna be important. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Let's pull those hips back, right? Pull those hips back, push those knees out, and then we'll go down, right? So it's just gonna be nice and smooth. Feet are gonna stay flat and we'll stand up. Squeeze those at zabs, squeeze those glutes, get yourself to that full extension at the top. All right, so now what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna count total repetitions today. So we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do for your cardio. We won't count any of that, but then we'll count our burpees and we'll count our air squats. So just keep a running total. And then during that time that we rest, go ahead and write it down or mark it down wherever you need to, or keep it all up in here. About round two, I, I usually forget everything. So, so, all right, you guys, again, we're doing this for seven minutes. Okay, we're gonna be here. So this will be about a 28 minute workout. So we are gonna be here for a while. So give me a nice flex if we're ready to start. All right, we're well, here we go, you guys. Starting off with some cardio. Yeah, ready Adair? Let's push it on three, one, two, and three. And three, two, one, begin. All right. So no matter where we are at, we are simply moving for a full minute, right? If you have the luxury of running down, up and down your hallway, stairwell, whatever you want for a full minute. And then after we're done with this, we're gonna go into our burpees. Then we're gonna go into air squats and then we're gonna do a full rest. All right, 30 more seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Rotate. Here we go, right into your burpees, you guys. Again, now this is what we are keeping track of today. Okay, we're keeping track of our burpees and our air squats. Okay, there we go, 30 seconds. Now try to stick to this number throughout the entire workout. Okay, so whatever you guys get in this minute, try to hold yourself to that. Give yourself that little extra push, especially as you start to get tired. 
Okay, we got about 10 seconds. And the next movement's gonna be air squats. In three, two, one, air squat time. All right, so you can go right into it. Beautiful, that's a good transition, Adair. There are some workouts up there, or movements where we could do, you know, kind of get out of the burpee. We jump up and we drop our butt into the bottom of a squat. So that would be a nice, easy, smooth transition if you're wanting to do that. Okay, 40 seconds. Cool. There we go. Okay, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, and rest. All right, you guys. All right, take that minute break. We're gonna hang out. Walk around, grab some water. It's only a minute, so you don't have time for a smoke break, guys. So nobody go outside. Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's like my ongoing joke when I would train like a new group. They'd be the first group in the gym. It's like their first day. And we do our first break and like, all right, guys, guys need a smoke break, go for it. And they're like, what, where the crap am I right now? So anyways, the joke that never gets old to coach Scott. So, all right, you guys, 10 seconds. We're going to start right back at the top. We're going to go right into our cardio again. All right, here we go in three, two, and begin. All right, guys, one minute of cardio, whatever it's going to be. Get on that rower, get on the elliptical machine, treadmill, all right? We can do some step ups, whatever you want to do that's gonna get that heart rate up. And just get it moving. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Three. Two, and burpees. Here we go, right into your burpees, you guys. Mm -hmm. Thirty seconds. All right, everybody, here we go. Air squats in three, two. One, here we go, air squats, going right into it. Nice work. Good transition, everybody. All right. Nice and smooth, keeping that chest up. Come on, 30 seconds.
All right, 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Take that full rest, everybody. Full minute meaning, full rest. Yeah, write those numbers down. Nice job. All right, here we go, you guys. We got about 30 seconds. Scott, do you still have a brand of yeah. shake? All right, guys, we got 15 seconds. Say it again. Do you have a brand of protein shake you like these days? Um, You know what? I'm actually not drinking a protein shake right now. I have a green shake that I drink all the time now and the aminos. Yeah, I know. It would it would give you better protein. If <laughs> All right, here we go guys. 3 2 1 and begin. All right, you guys, we are back at it. 1 minute of cardio. All right, here we go, you guys. All right, burpees in three, two, one, begin. All right, we're back into our next movement. Again, try to keep your number consistent to what you did in the prior rounds, okay? So we're in our third round right now, All right? So if you're getting, you know, five to 10, try to hold that same number. And what that's gonna do is gonna keep us accountable. It's gonna keep us motivated to keep pushing. You know how it gets when you get a little tired, you start to negotiate with yourself, but give yourself that big, deep push. All right, we have 15 seconds. You got it, you got it. All right, five seconds. We can always do one more. In three, two, one. Rotate into that air squat, everybody. Nice work, pushing those knees out, right? There we go. Good work. Nice. Remember, brace those abs first. Hips are gonna go back and down as you push those knees out. Okay. 30 seconds. Way to move, you guys. Stay in motion, stay in motion. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, and rest. All right, guys, let's take that full minute. Beautiful. We just finished that third round. We're about to go into the fourth round. Let's take that minute of break. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay. Shake those legs out. 15 seconds, we're gonna get ready for another bout of cardio. 
All right, let's get set, you guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, you guys. Now, here we are. We're back into some cardio. We have a full minute at this station, right? You know your body the best, so know where to push. You guys know the right pace that makes you feel like you're out of your comfort zone, but not too much, enough that you can sustain it for a full minute and then move right into some burpees. Okay, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, burpees. Go ahead and begin. Here we go, 30 seconds in. Nice job, nice job. All right, five seconds, three, two, one, let's go right into your air squats now. Nice and smooth, you guys. Pull those hips back, there we go. Good. Yeah, the air squat's a special movement, right? It's a basic movement, but it's, you gotta have a couple things right, right? You wanna have your feet right, set up correct, correctly for you, right? You gotta have that breathing pattern down. You want to ease into that bottom position, not struggle to get to that bottom position. So that's where hip flexibility is going to be super important. 30 seconds. But we want to have a, re a rhythm, right? You got to take a deep breath, drop to the bottom, exhale as you come up, and then continue to repeat. Each one should look like the other. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Okay, go ahead, write your numbers down. Make sure so you don't forget it. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Right back to the top. Five, four, three, and we're back, everybody. Back at some cardio. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, big push guys. Keep it moving, get that heart rate up. All right, 10 seconds. 
We have burpees next. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. We are back. Burpees are back. Come on. All right, come on. Once you get to the top, let's go ahead and get back to the bottom. If you need to rest at all, let's rest at the bottom. It's really tempting to stay up top, kind of catch your breath, you know, think about it. But if you can go right back down to the floor, it gets you already halfway past or halfway into the movement. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's get maybe one, maybe two more. One more, Chris, just one more. <laughs> All right, air squats, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Okay, here we go, we're back. Right back into those air squats. Now, as we start to get tired, you guys, it's gonna be really, really tempting for us to fall forward opposed to let your butt drop first. So really be mindful of letting that booty drop before we lean forward. You're like, easy for you to say, Scott, you're not 19 minutes into your workout. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be there very soon. Okay, 20 seconds. Come on, come on. 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, you guys, we had that full minute break. So let's really utilize it. Walk around, shake those legs out. Grab some of that water if we need it. Let's take advantage of it. Okay, we got 15 seconds. Five seconds in three, two, one, cardio. We are back. Okay, so here we are back at our cardio. Really good time to you know, clear our mind. I don't know about you, but usually when I'm doing any type of cardio, I'm not thinking about anything else. And I like that piece about it. Come on. Okay, 15 seconds of cardio, come on, keep it going. All right, five seconds, we're gonna start some burpees in three, two, one, let's begin. Here we go. Okay. We got about 20 seconds.
10 seconds, we're gonna move it into air squats. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, you guys, we have air squats now. Full minute, just like the burpees, you guys, let's try to match the same number that we got prior. Okay, 20 seconds. Come on, we're doing it, you guys. We're so close to being done with this workout today. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep pushing, everybody. We got a full minute break after this. Three, two, one, take a break. All right. I'd so, like to say that nothing about this is not cardio. It's right? a false distinction between cardio and not cardio. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a very good point. See, Adair's not fooled, everybody. <laughs> All right, we have about 30 seconds. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Is that a new, is that new? Yeah. South Seattle Otters. Is it, is that something new? Well, I work at South Seattle College. It's a new t-shirt. Okay, okay. Ah, very cool. All right, five seconds, everybody. Last set, three, two, one, and let's get into cardio. Okay. We can change it up if we want to. We could do the same exact thing also. Your call. All right, you guys, 10 seconds, and we're going to get right into our burpees in three, two, one. Here we go. Burpee time, everybody. So it is our last set. Give that push. We could possibly even turn it up just a little bit, just knowing that we are done with our burpees after this minute of burpees. No more burpees for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Come on, keep pushing you guys. All right, three, two, one. Let's get right into your air squats. Let's finish this up, you guys. It's our last minute of air squats now. Come on, just one at a time. <clears throat> Good, nice and smooth. Now we keep them chest up. There we go, there we go.
Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Nicely done, you guys. So let's add all of our numbers up. This is where we would put our total into the app, right? So that's where we track every single thing that we're doing. Um, but also, we can just go ahead, let's go ahead and put it into the chat. All right, what was your, what was your total? I echo Darzy's comment. That was all cardio, man. Yeah. Holy smoke. Tina, did you sweat at all? No. Nah. <laughs> nice job, Tina. Good work. All right. So we are, we're going to go ahead and cool down together. Okay. If you do look into the app, there is a, a finisher, right? It's bicep curls and upright rows. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do some mobility together. So again, we can definitely do that finisher when we get done offline, but let's go ahead and cool down together and mobilize together, making sure that we get it done. Okay. So upper body or lower body, what is the most tightest? Point up for the upper body, down for the lower body. Tina's like, everything feels good. <laughs> lower body, okay. Let's hit that lower body. Yeah. Oh. All right. So here we go, you guys. Grab that water if you need it. But let's go ahead and pull up a seat. So we're going to start with the straddle. Okay. So I'm going to be, we're going to be on our knees. Okay. And just from a side view, we're then going to open up kind of like our knees just a little bit. Right. And at that point, we're going to go ahead. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. We're going to sit back. And we're literally just gonna sit down, like the heel is gonna be on the outside of our glutes. And for some, this is a real hard position, right? It could be hard for the ankles, it could be hard for uh, them quads. Another option, you guys, would be to sit on a pillow, right? So the tops of your, of your ankles might be super tender on the floor, so you could grab a pillow, or just that position is hard. So anyways, you can grab a pillow, that's my whole point, okay? The next step would be to reach back, and hang out, okay? Um, there are some characters out there that could put their back fully on the floor. If you can, by all means, go all the way down. The, the first time that I, uh, okay, so I'll tell you a little bit of story as we hang out here. Um, gonna hang on for two minutes, by the way. I, I was working on this movement and I was working on getting my back to the floor and I was able to actually get my back to the floor but then I felt stuck. And so then I got stuck. I was like, oh shoot, what's up man? So in this position guys, just take a deep breath, exhale. And each time that you guys exhale, you're gonna go ahead and just fully relax, get into a deeper stretch. But again, the, the ultimate part is you can get Further back, by all means, let's get further back. But only go to your spot that you feel like you're not like suffering in this position. Okay, we got about 20 seconds, everybody. Darius, when's your next hiking trip with stuff? <laughs> we have... A nine days in the North Cascades in late August, but because of the fires, we just also booked permits for a week in the enchantments. So we have fire at least, uh, you know, hedging some bets. All right, let's rotate you guys. Right leg's gonna be forward now. Left leg's gonna be just hanging down. Okay. Now, as you lean forward just a little bit, you're gonna feel the hamstring. So the front foot's gonna be flat, you guys. The shin is gonna be vertical with the leg that's leading. 
the back leg's just going to be pointing straight back and just fully relaxing. And you're leaning forward. Okay, so depending on what's tight, it could be the groin, it could be the hamstring, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay, let's go ahead and swap sides. Now, when you're in this position, you guys, you guys can rotate toward your leg. You can rotate away from your leg. If you need a little bit of a deeper stretch. <clears throat> okay, 30 more seconds. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and stand up. We're now gonna go ahead and widen up our stance. Okay, now we're standing up, widen our stance. And go ahead and start to let those legs spread out as much as needed. And then from here, we're just gonna rock those hips back as we lean forward to the ground. Now our fingertips may touch the floor, our palms may touch the floor. We may soften those knees or those elbows a little bit. But essentially, we just wanna hang. Okay, so again, just let that upper body come down to hang. Be careful for those hamstrings. Flat you... back, Scott. What's that? Flat back, are we? Nope, don't back? worry about, yeah, don't worry about a flat back. Just kind of take a deep breath and then fully relax as you exhale and go as down as further as you can, okay? Use those hands to support the floor, yourself off the floor, All right? So if you feel like you've kind of fallen too far, about 10 more seconds. Okay. In three, two, one. Go ahead and walk yourself up nice and slow. And that is going to be our five minute mobility session. Good work. All right, you guys. Well, let's come on over. Let's do our group photo. Perfect. Where's Griff when we need him? There we go. All right. Well, all right. Well, let's get those guns a blazing. Happy Wednesday. Good work. Three, two, one. <laughs> and done, you guys. Hey, good work today, you guys. Give me the high five. Nice to see you, Tina. Nice to see you, Chris. Nice to see you, Scott. Yeah, you too, you guys. Well, hey, have a good rest of the Wednesday, you guys. And then... uh I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, see ya. See you guys.